Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to share with you a new series and it's called Workshop Wednesday. And the thought with Workshop Wednesday is I'll take a single skill, in today's case, it's to traction the neck using a yoga strap and then break that down in great detail. So often there are certain skills such as this neck traction that can be quickly brushed over in a yoga class setting. So today we'll be using a yoga strap to create some lovely length and space up through the cervical cavity. This is fantastic for those of you that might sit at a desk all day. There's a lot of commuting, essentially a lot of sitting. This is wonderful to create space. This is something that I personally enjoy. After being on the computer all day and you're kind of rounding forward, this then pulls and lengthens using your legs, using the yoga strap. One more detail before we get into the physicality of it. With your yoga strap, and you will need the traditional yoga strap, a tie or a robe tie, would not be sufficient because you need something that fully loops and these D-rings or these silver rings are essential. When you are looking to buy a yoga strap, if this is something that applies to you, go for an eight to 10 foot yoga strap. That way you have more length to work with. You can bring more slack or more length as necessary. Really that just depends on how tall you are. If you are interested in working through some lengthening of the neck, then just keep watching. Now, first things first, grab a hold of your yoga strap and to clearly break down how you actually loop the yoga strap, you'll have the D rings or the silver rings in one hand and then you'll slide index finger and thumb on the opposite hand all the way down to the tail. And the purpose here is to get rid of any loops or bends and this way you're even. You take the tail end and slide that through both of your D rings. Once you have that tail, let go of the first ring have the tail in hand, put it over the first ring and back through the second ring. It's like an old school belt. And then you have a little bit of tail and a pretty big circle <laughs> that we're then going to traction the neck and loop the legs into. So that's just an up close on how to find that loop of security with your yoga strap. Once you have the strap secured and looped, you're going to take part of the strap and bring it around the base of your skull. So I think the very bottom edge of your skull, you're going to secure that and you'll feel a little bit of pull. There's no insecurity, you're super stable and the chin starts to draw towards the chest. You have all of this excess that's out in front of you. You're going to secure your feet one and then both. Now notice with my strap here, the tail end is away from me or the excess strap is away from me, which is exactly what I don't want. So I'm going to actually rotate it before I lift my head up. So this way the tail end, that excess strap is actually facing towards me. That's just going to make it much easier to shorten or to lengthen. D-rings on one side, tail end towards me. Now as you press out through the feet, you'll notice that you have a deep tuck of your chin in towards your chest. This immediately brings a wonderful release up through the cervical spine. And I don't have to use my hands or my arms at all. So it feels incredibly therapeutic, wonderfully restorative. This right here, it might be sufficient in terms of stretching out the neck. But I like a little asymmetry, so how you can navigate that is bending into one knee and you'll notice your head will tilt but I still didn't have to use my hands, arms, or shoulders. This works more so through the right side of the neck. As I press equally through both feet, I'll switch that out, bend deeply into the opposite knee. Then on this case, it's stretching through the back left side of my neck. And the more I press through my feet, the greater lift I have in the head, inherently greater stretch through the neckline. As I make my way back to center, you may have to readjust. You may want to tighten the strap. The tighter the strap, the higher the head, ultimately the more intense the stretch might become through the back line of the neck. You can hold here anywhere from three, five, maybe even 10 minutes. What you want to avoid though is allowing the feet to fall asleep or the legs to fall asleep. Just because this is an inversion where your legs are lifted above the heart. So be mindful, be kind through the feet and all the way down to the legs. And that is our workshop Wednesday. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a little something new in terms of using yoga props in a way that is effective and helpful for your body and your needs. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss a new video. As always, be kind to yourself and be kind to others and I will see you guys soon. Bye.